This is the Belkin Boost Charge. It's the latest MagSafe compatible wireless car mount and charger. If some of you guys remember, in my previous video, I reviewed the first edition of the Belkin MagSafe compatible car mount. I recommended that this was not worth the price. In today's video, I'm going to see if this new one is actually worth the price as well. In the box, you get the following items. You have yourself a smaller Belkin MagSafe compatible car mount. It's in matte black. You also have the plastic car mount itself that you have to attach to the back of this. You also have a 20 watt USB-C to C charging cable, which is compatible with the Belkin car mount there at the bottom. You just need to plug that into the USB-C port just there. But this will give you 10 watts of wireless charging when you connect your phone directly to this. You've got yourself a user manual and then the power adapter for your car where you stick the USB-C cable inside. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys haven't seen my previous video on this Belkin car mount. I asked the question, is it worth it? For this one, I said no because this was worth £35. It doesn't have any wireless charging capabilities. There's no ports. It's a simple, strong magnetic car mount. That's it. In this video, I'm going to ask the same question. Is this new upgrade also worth it? I've been using it for a couple of days now and the answer is also no. And here's a few reasons why. So let's get straight into it. Starting off, the actual feel and the build quality of this MagSafe mount is probably lower than the previous one. I think this is not just designed better, you know, I really like the colors, the solid build, it's a lot thicker, and I feel like this holds my iPhone a lot stronger than this one. And you guys can see in terms of the size comparison, the new ones is slightly smaller, and it feels a lot lighter and less heavy duty and less durable. The quality of the product with this new one feels much like those cheap ones that you can buy on Amazon, most of them that are mainly made in China, which I don't think is great for the price you pay. Now in terms of the price point, this new boost charge is £45. It's £10 more expensive than the previous one, purely because it now has wireless charging capability, so they give you the cable and the power adapter for your car. I'm going to just connect this myself and see how strong this is when I head over to my car and mount that on. When I make a decision to buy a car mount for my MagSafe iPhone, whether it's the iPhone 12 or 13, I look at the strength of the magnetic on the car mount itself. When I was trying out this one, I put it into position. I'm just gonna test it. And you know, whatever position I try to hold it in, it's quite weak because this is very lightweight and I feel like it's made very cheap. So for me, I'm gonna test it out while it's driving as well to see if it actually can hold it with fast drives. But you know, just the slightest shake and it falls off like this. I'm just gonna tilt it in all directions and you can see it's falling off. In comparison to the previous Belkin car mount, the one thing I can't fault is its strength and its quality. So for me, in comparison, you know, I'm holding it at the same position, I'm tilting it. It does fall depending on how fast you rotate and, and shake the device, but for the most part, I feel like it does a little bit of a better job than this new one. So that's one of the reasons why I still think this one, you could probably get this a little bit cheaper. Next, in terms of the price point, 45 pounds, it's 10 pounds more expensive than the previous Belkin car mount. But I think that's primarily due to this, the word Belkin. That word Belkin, I would say, adds on probably 15, 20 pounds of additional price to the actual kit itself. If you have a look on Amazon, there's plenty of MagSafe compatible car mounts that do wireless charging as well at a lower cost price. Now you can see, you know, there's plenty of options. It's saturated out there on the market. If this didn't have the Belkin name branded onto this car mount, I reckon you can get this for about 20 pounds, 25 pounds, maybe maximum 30. And then I would say it would probably be worth it, provided that it has very good strength. I've seen another car mount that's in one of my other cars, which is very small, it's a square, and that has a much stronger magnetic hold on my iPhone than this car mount. And that one was around 15 pounds only. Although that's not wireless charging compatible, it's just proof that there is other car mounts out there that can give my iPhone a much better hold than this one. Another thing is that if you didn't want to get the wireless charger cable and the adapter for your port in the car, 
then you can get this on its own for £33, which I still think is a little bit expensive for this cheap bit of plastic. This is a Qi wireless charger, so if you have another phone, maybe an Android phone, that has wireless charging capabilities, then you can buy yourself one of those magnetic strips for the back of your case and then attach that to this and use this for any other phone. So not necessarily does it need to be with a MagSafe phone like iPhone 12 or 13, but you can use other phones with it as well. Now let's go ahead and move over to the car and showcase some examples of setting this up in my vent and how it performs there. Okay, so the back of this is only compatible with straight edge vents whether that's horizontal or vertical, like so that I have in my Velar. If you've got a car that has sort of curled vents, then this wouldn't work, but I'm gonna showcase this on my car here. One thing that I don't like about this is when I put this into the vent, let me just slot that there. Just gonna push it in, it requires a bit of force. It's very fiddly. Right, so now I've noticed that it just drops. This, like I mentioned many times already, is very lightweight and it feels very cheap. So I can't position the phone like this because it will constantly keep shaking. I'm just gonna put my phone on there. You can see that's not ideal. If I'm driving fast, I can imagine the phone will just keep doing this. So why it's not stable? It leaves a bit of a gap between the mounting part of the vent and how much gap you have underneath the straight edge part of the vent itself. This is not the case with the previous one. This one is absolutely solid. It doesn't move. And I find it very easy to mount my phone onto this very quickly. This one, I've got a feeling I'm gonna be fiddling around with it too much, even though it will be in place all the time. That's just not something I'm very keen on, and that might be the case for most of you guys watching. Another thing is this USB-C cable that comes in the box. This is 1.2 meters long. If your power port, like my one here, is inside my central cabin compartment, I normally feed my cable down the sides here, Along the bottom, you can see I have a previous white charging cable for my iPhone that goes under the steering wheel, comes around, and on the right-hand side of the driver wheel is usually where I mount the Belkin car mount. I don't think that 1.2 meters is going to be enough to reach this area. Most cars generally would have the power adapter somewhere, you know, at the front here where you've got your main panel, which is absolutely fine, is a good length. But one thing to remember is that you don't necessarily have to use the cable that it comes with. You can use your own USB-C cable. Most cars nowadays have USB ports, so you don't even need to use this power adapter to power up the wireless car mount. You can just get your own cable, use the USB port, find something that's a decent length like this, and then just plug that into the USB port of your car. That's one of the reasons why I would probably recommend to buy this car mount if you really do want it without the charger and just buy yourself a USB cable or if you don't have any USB port in your car then you can find this set at a much cheaper price and get a bit of a cost saving than actually buying it with the charger in the Belkin package. Right so I've plugged it in anyway the cable you know it's for me it's not long enough to really get this into a convenient position to place this on the right hand side of the steering wheel but anyway just wanted to showcase to you guys the capability of just setting your phone onto it so that it can just start charging straight away that is really convenient so if i stick this on there you go it's starting to charge so now let me go for a quick drive to test the stability of this car mount okay, let's place that on there Why hasn't it started? There we go. Need to reposition it exactly the right location. So that is also a little bit fiddly. Let's go for a quick drive. You can see with the vibrations of the car, that is shaking quite a bit. And it shouldn't really do that. It doesn't do that with my other Belkin mount. This road is very uneven. It's 
seems to be holding up pretty well. I think it's a little bit more shaky at faster speeds than slower speeds but uneven surfaces. But one other thing that I also think is quite disappointing is how easy it is to make this into a horizontal position. So I wouldn't recommend twisting it because you're going to risk maybe breaking your vent because it is plastic. You have to take it off then just twist the end like so and then you have to set it up like this and then really force it back in. It's actually quite difficult to get into the vent because the slot at the back of this is actually very tight and you have to kind of like force and push it in but you don't want to force too much because you do risk snapping that and I don't have this problem with the other Belkin mount and even now I'm kind of struggling a little bit so why is it not charging? Find the right position. Nope, still nothing. Maybe this way. This is another problem as well, I guess, is trying to find the right spot for it to kick in the wireless charging, but for some reason, it struggles to do that. Okay, I can see it's charging. Now let's drive it with it being landscape, horizontal, and see how that works. Even before I start driving, it's just falling over. Okay, starting to fall. Let's turn. And let's pick up some speed. Oh, it's about to, go, it's about to drop. That's not great. Making sure. So in that horizontal position, I don't think it's that strong enough to hold it there. So that's why I am, so that's why I'm thinking this is actually cheaply made and it doesn't just look that way, but it also feels that way. And as you guys have seen, it now also performs that way which is why I would say this is something that's not worth the 45 pound price tag. All right, I just got back, but what you guys didn't see is when I turned off the camera by the time I was approaching my house, my phone completely fell off from horizontal view directly down into my center console and I had to pick it up, you know, whilst I'm driving, that's not something I'd want. So again, that's another reason why this for me personally, is just not something I would buy and it's not something I would recommend. The previous one, I did say it wasn't worth it purely because of the price but looking back now in comparison to this I think that one is worth buying if you really want something that's a good build and something that's strong enough to hold your iPhone in place when you are driving at different speeds. This one is not the answer to that so for me the upgrade option that they've created is pretty much a fail. Now I bought this myself to test it out I know there was a few of you guys asking in my comments from my previous Belkin mount video. So hopefully that did answer some of your questions if this is actually worth buying instead of that one. If there's anything else you do want to know about this mount, then drop a comment down below and I'll always help you guys out as much as I can. If you found that useful and it did help you make a decision, make sure to give this video a like, make sure to subscribe, new videos out all the time and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.